Hey guys, what's up? This is Hyder from X Trades, and um, yeah, we're just gonna go through another weekly um, recap. So to start off, uh, we're actually gonna switch it up. We're gonna go through three tickers that I mentioned last week and see how they performed. Um, yeah, we'll do that to start off. So the first ticker was AEHR. This was covered last week. Um, so this one had a really nice gap up. Um, yeah, it had really nice volume. Got some really nice follow through on uh, this Monday, or last Monday, and uh, so far it's just basically been flagging here, so perfectly healthy action. This one's incredibly strong. Um, it has been trending all year long. It's just been grinding higher and higher, and uh, yeah, it continues to act pretty well here. Um, next up, we'll take a look at uh, Carvana. So I was talking about this flag last week, and um, yeah, we were able to successfully break out um, very clear flag. This was a really nice trade. This one, um, I actually ended up not taking it because Carvana actually had made such a big move this year that I needed more rest. But yeah, this one just continued to take off. Uh, so the breakout day was on uh, Mon or Tuesday. So it broke out on Tuesday. That was the buy, and then it gapped up, and there could have been um, an opportunity to sell into strength. But after it took the lows out. On this day or on the next day that would have also been a sell sign um but yeah overall this one's acting incredibly well right this one made almost a 700 percent move from the lows this year but yeah really incredible action in this name and then next up coinbase so i talked about this really big breakout last week um and so far it's just been consolidating which is perfectly healthy action um yeah this one still looks really 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 good uh, the volume is set up really nicely. The weekly chart is set up really nicely. It just needs to take that 109 level out. And this one looks really good Yeah, on the weekly as well. Yeah, really good action. This one's definitely a top watch. Um, but yeah, that's what we covered last week. And yeah, we'll get into this week and how uh, yeah this week's market analysis. So we'll start off with the indices. Start off with uh, QQQ. Take a look at the weekly chart. So definitely got really extended, right? We tried to break that 382 level and we got really extended and now we're pulling back and perfectly healthy action. Nothing to be worried about. Um, so this is the trend line, right? There's a good chance that we can pull back to that trend line. So potentially we could see 370 worst case scenario, I think. If we lose 370, then that's when we should really start getting worried. But I think there's a good chance that we can revisit 370 um and the consolidate off there but uh yeah that's the key support level 370 key resistance level is 382 if we get back above that then we could continue running but i think a chance that we'll consolidate for a little while at least considering how extended we are and the uh, same thing for the spy oops so spy actually held up a lot better uh it, still end of the week green um but yeah 453 is the key resistance level and this one's definitely very extended too and can use more of a pullback let me draw a trend line so same thing as qqq it's extended here could pull back here to that 444 level and just the rest for some time but overall still really good action and uh yeah, the spy didn't pull back too much but i think we could see more of a pullback in the next following weeks and that would be perfectly healthy action as long as that 444 level holds up and as long as we're building that or, build, or building above that trend line but yeah overall really good action on the indices and nothing to be worried about yes we did pull back but we did pull back because we ran up so much right so this is healthy action when you pull back a lot it's very normal to see um i mean when you when you get so extended it's very normal to see pullbacks and uh, just uh, yeah, expect some rest for the next couple weeks. Expect some consolidation. All right, now we'll take a look at the big caps. First up, Apple. So Apple tried to break out this week. Um, hit 198, almost hit that 200 level. Got close to it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it got extended and now it's pulling back. It's still holding above that trend line, so not nothing to be worried about still very bullish on apple um if that trend line does break then we could see a bigger pullback all the way up to 182 potentially 
uh, there's actually another there's this support level here so 186 would be the first support level and then 182 but yeah that's what I see on Apple next up we'll take a look at AMD um, so AMD is it was forming this trend line and it broke pretty hard on Thursday so that's very bearish but we're still just back in this consolidation zone so it's not that bearish if you look at the bigger picture so as long as we're in between 117 and 107 uh, we're basically just chopping right if we break 107 that's when we get really bearish and we could see a larger pullback but until then um, AMD is neutral for now and uh, yeah we can just expect more chop Amazon so Amazon got to that 137 resistance level and it's now rejecting and it also lost the trend line. Let me extend it. Yeah, lost the trend line on Thursday and Friday. See the little bit of continuation. It's trying to form a hammer, but we'll see what happens. But right now, yeah, Amazon has to reclaim that trend line or we could see a bigger pullback. And the first uh, support level would be that 127.5 level. But overall, um, this is normal action, right? Amazon's getting got extended and now it's just consolidating. Um, but yeah, nothing to be too worried about. And then we'll take a look at Google. So Google also tried to break that 127 level uh, last week, failed, and uh, yeah, we're back in that in this consolidation zone. So neutral on Google. It's bullish above 127 and it's bearish below 118. So those are the key levels to watch for Google. Um, until we break either level, it's just uh, you can just expect more sideways action. So that's pretty much it for Google. So Meta, this one had a pretty significant breakdown, right? So on Thursday, had a pretty big move down. And on Friday, another pretty big move down, actually. So this one actually clearly broke the trend line. And uh, it was actually a really good short play on Friday. Yeah, uh, I'm recording this on Friday, so today it would have been a really good short play but um, first target would is that 289 level and I think uh, a good chance we can hit that next week but uh, so we'll see what happens from there let's take a look at the weekly chart here yeah there's no other real support level to 289 after that we could see a drop to 273 but yeah this is this was a really good short play on Friday but yeah Next up, we'll take a look at Microsoft. Microsoft had a really big breakout, really big volume on what was this Tuesday. Yeah, and now it's pulling back here again. Um, still really good action. It's trying to hold on to that 344 level, but we'll see what happens. And uh, there is a trend line here, so as long as it holds above that trend line, it's still bullish. And uh, yeah, not much to be worried about. This looks just like a healthy consolidation or healthy pullback to me. And uh, yeah, nothing to be too concerned about. Next up, Netflix. So this one had earnings this week and it gapped down pretty hard and got some continuation on Friday. So now we're back between this uh, range here, right? So 448, if we break that, then that would be a buy signal. If we lose 419, then that would be a sell signal and too short. But until then, um, we're pretty much just neutral again and uh, we could consolidate for a while. Next up, NVIDIA. So NVIDIA got really extended here last week. Um, and then it was consolidating the first three days of the week. And then on Thursday and Friday, pulled back in pretty hard. But still very, very bullish on NVIDIA. It's holding that trend line here, so nothing to be worried about. Worst case scenario, we'll come back to the 431 resist or support level. And we'll see if that can hold. If that doesn't hold, then uh, we could see a bigger pullback. but. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Overall, still really good action on NVIDIA. Um, Tesla. So this is one of the more bearish ones. So pretty big gap down from um, pretty big gap down from earnings, and then follow through um, on Friday. So it lost that 262 support level, which is not good, but. 260 is also another key support level, but right now in after hours we're at 256, so it's not great. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at the weekly chart, see if we can get more information. So if we lose that 256 level, next area of support is that 247, so that can be a potential target. 
Um, but yeah, Tesla was setting up really, really nicely before earnings, but yeah, now it's not looking as great, but we'll see what happens. And if you look at the bigger picture, it could just meet it could just need more consolidation because we had a really big run up right so it would be perfectly normal for more weeks of consolidation and then tighten up and then break out again but um right now you don't want to be long in tesla you want to be just waiting and see what happens from here so that's pretty much it for the big caps now we'll take a look at growth stocks how they've been doing so definitely got really extended last week and this week right Definitely on uh, Wednesday, very, very extended. And then we pulled back in pretty hard on Thursday. Friday was like a consolidation day. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the weekly. So on the weekly, it looks completely fine, right? It just looks like a consolidation bar. Perfectly normal action. I think we could consolidate for a few more weeks and then tighten up and then break out, but we'll see. Definitely some resistance at that key uh, psychological level 50. Um, around about 49.75-ish, 50-ish level. Definitely some resistance there. So yeah, we'll see how it deals with that. But for now, I think we could just use some more consolidation, tighten up a little bit more, form some sort of flag, and then break out again. We'll see what happens. Um, now we'll take a look at some individual tickers that have been acting well. First one is Airbnb. This one's been acting incredibly well all week long. This week was bearish for a lot of stocks, but this one's just continuing to um, show strength. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. So it broke that big base and uh, it flagged. It made a nice flag pattern on uh, a couple weeks ago. And then ever since then, it's just been grinding higher and higher. It's a really good action. Um, yeah, Airbnb is trades very choppy, but first, major resistance level is that 175 level and we just broke that 145 level so yeah airbnb has a lot of room to the upside here actually so it can yeah it has room all the way up to 175 obviously it's not going to go straight up i think we need some consolidation here since it's been up for four weeks in a row and on the daily it definitely looks very extended so some rest would be good but 145 could potentially be a good by the dip area but yeah, definitely keep this name on your radar. Next up, we'll take a look at uh, Kava. I'm not sure how to say this, but yeah, Kava has recent IPO and uh, it's been building a really nice flag here. Really good action. Um, but yeah, it's tightening up here and it could potentially see a big breakout. This is a A plus setup, really nice flag action. And uh, yeah, it's been acting really well for a recent IPO. Um, and even though market pulled back in pretty hard this week, this one's been holding up really well. So definitely one to watch. And let's see what else we got. Yeah, last one. Uber. So Uber is also acting really well, like Airbnb. Even though um, this week was a red week, Airbnb, Uber has been just consolidating and uh, forming a nice flag here. Let's take a look at the weekly chart. So yeah, Uber has been just grinding higher and higher and uh, has resistance at 48.5. So not that much room to the upside here. I think uh, we're getting a little bit extended here. We can use some rest, but overall really, really good action on Uber. This one's been acting incredibly well. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. More consolidation can be good. But again, yeah, this one's been showing a lot of relative strength recently. So yeah, definitely want to keep your eye on this one. And uh, UPSD is one that I covered last week. Forgot to go over this one. So this one has it's, it's one of the strongest stocks in the market right now. This one has just been going um, up and up, right? No, no breaks at all. And even though it's pulling back, it's pulling back very nicely, and it's not giving back too much, right? It's forming a nice flag actually. So this one was a clear buy when it broke that 38.7 level, and then it also made another setup here. Very short flag. Only it's only flags two it only flags for two days and then it breaks out so this is um what you want to see in a leader this one's definitely being accumulated right now and this one's definitely a top watch incredibly strong but uh yeah hopefully we get m more of a pullback and uh, a nicer flag but yeah, this one's definitely a top watch again for next week as well 
But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this week. Thank you guys for tuning in.